Hello, continuing our tutorial about wiring diagrams, how to interpret them. We'll start with this one. Again, you always need a voltage source, a power supply. In this case, instead of a battery, it's an actual power source. A DC power source, 20. The V means volts, DC means direct current. And of course, associated with that is polarity. DC has polarity. Therefore, one terminal of this power supply is positive, while the other one has to be negative. This is the symbol for R1, R2, and R3, which are resistors. Resistors are in opposition. They oppose current. That's why you see this type of schematic symbol, like in opposition. <clears throat> Therefore, how many resistors do we have? One, two, three, and the other component is a measuring gauge, which is an ammeter, which is to measure the current, how much current is flowing in this circuit. This is called a series circuit because everything is in series. One is connected in series with the other. So therefore, if we want to wire this up, one side of the terminal of the positive goes through one side of R1, a resistor, <clears throat> which is 470 ohms. Therefore, there is a connection from here to here. Again, this could be one wire, two wires, three wires, doesn't matter. As long as there is a connection from this terminal to one side of R1, which is a resistor. The other side of R1 <clears throat> goes to another resistor. So therefore, the other side of R1 goes to one side of R2. The other side of R2 goes to a wire to R3. The other side of R3 goes to a wire to a measuring gauge, an ammeter, a meter, to measure the current. Now, actually, this has polarity. So, therefore, the positive would be here, and the negative would be connected to the negative. So, therefore, other side of R3 would be connected to the positive side of the probe of the ammeter. And the other side of the ammeter would be connected to the negative, would be connected to the negative. Therefore, current will flow, conventional current will flow in this direction, while electron flow will flow in this direction. Again, series circuit means everything is connected together and has a complete path. If this is open over here, current cannot flow. If this, this connection is open, current can still not flow. If this connection is open between R1 and R2, current can still not flow. Anywhere where you have an open, <coughs> current cannot flow. Current needs a complete path to go from one side of the terminal to the other side of the power supply. I hope this was informative, and hopefully if you could subscribe to my channel of Automotive Electronics Schematics by Joseph, I would appreciate it to be a subscriber. As we said over here, here is the wiring diagram, here's the physical. It would be a breadboard. This is the actual power supply, the manual. <clears throat> As you can see, positive and negative. Positive goes to one side. As you can see on the breadboard, these little terminals are all connected. From here to here is not connected. That's why you could put a component there. All these are connected. All these are connected. All these are connected. So therefore, if I want to put another component, I could put it into any hole of this one. So therefore, the power of the supply goes to this, which is connected to one side of the R1. We said the other side of R1 is connected to the other side of R2. The other side of R2 is connected to one side of R3. The other side of R3 is connected to a negative power supply. And there you have it over here, and you have it over here. So you can see it. Again, all these are connected. From here to here is not connected. That's why you could put a component across here. From here to here is connected. Here to here is connected. Here to here is a connection. Here to here is a connection. So I hope this was informative. 
And please subscribe to my channel again. Uh, I need subscribers, please. To Automotive Electronics Manics by Joseph. Please find something that's to your liking and to your interest. Thanks for watching.